songs tied. We was smoking, watch the sun climb. I would trap until my thumbs cry. All right, what's going on guys? Kirk and Mark here, back with another episode. And as you guys can see from the title of the video, we're here at the 2022 staging of SEMA here in Las Vegas. Super excited, got a lot to cover today. So, stay tuned and let's get started. Let's go. So not only are we here at SEMA, but it's also my birthday weekend and my bachelor trip. So we're out here with all my boys. Hey. <laughs> Came in, just to represent. It's gonna be a really good weekend. So here they have the Tesla shuttles. We're gonna be taking us around from point A to point B. We're gonna go to the West Hall first. I think it's like an underground shuttle, so it should be pretty exciting. And you guys are heading to which hall? West. Alright, no problem. Here, yo, this place is massive. Got a whole lot of trucks over there on the outside, over here as well. But trust me, this is only the beginning. Like I said, this is the line now for the public to try and enter. But we already have our passes, so we're good. This is the new Corolla GR. What you guys think? Pretty cool. All right, so we're in the main hall right now. Just gonna be walking around, just giving you guys some highlights of what we have. Here we have the Exxon's film booth. They got a Pagani Wyra on display, looking really nice. I think it's Wyra BC based on the roof school. Got some more vendors on display, but trust me guys, if you guys have never been to SEMA, it is massive. Like this is just a quick snapshot of what's actually here. Thousands of companies from all over the world here to showcase their new products. Let you guys see what's on display for 2023. It's really nice that we're able to kind of just come to one place and just kind of take everything in. For us, we're mainly looking to talk to companies that we want to do business with, companies that we want to feature for our website that you guys will learn more about shortly. And we really want to be able to bring the best, newest, most innovative products to you guys. Really looking forward to it. And definitely, obviously, highlight a lot of cool companies and a lot of cool cars that we see. Crazy Huracan. Worst China kit. This is Flex, Flexi Shield. Back to the air blower for yeah. really sick. So I, actually I mean, this section of the hall seems to be like a lot of paint correction, like detailing products, vinyl wraps, ceramic coating, paint protection film, window tints. This is Ceramic Pro booth. They have an Apollo on display. Really sick car. Yeah, this is just insane. What three million dollars can get you? <laughs> yeah. Really cool. Yeah, the right company. I saw this nice MK4 Supra. Check, check this out. Seen this one in Orlando a couple times. Really nice. Yeah, man. <laughs> you can smell the GDM on this one. I say a rim guard. Very nice. Yeah, colors. Yeah. It's nice. That's pretty cool. It protects it from curb rashes or anything like that. Yeah, that's nice. Check out the Inuzitech booth. Liberty Walk, Car 35, pretty sick Liberty Walk, Aventador. Yeah. Over here, I have Alex Choice Miata, LS swap engine. Also have his Hurricane wide body. A lot of really unique new colors from Inozotec. I really like this blue, this is nice. Yeah, really glossy. And then this is a GT3. For those of you who do watch YouTube, you know whose car this is. Known for doing donuts in the middle of the street. But yeah, really interesting seeing these cars in person. Yeah, man. It's sick. Hell in back, bro. <laughs> Most abused hurricane on the internet. Let's look at the back on this man. <laughs> Flame monster. The Miata right here. Sick. 
I think they got this done in probably a week or two. So they call it a rush job, but it looks really good. Yeah, nice. So, finally got a chance to see this in person. You might be wondering why the front end of this car looks so different. This is actually a new redesign from Adro. Completely new front bumper, new grid setup. This is actually on the display car for AA Concepts, if you guys know them, carbon fiber supply company. Really different. I want to know what you guys think about it in the comments. Do you guys like the new redesign or not? I think they're gonna get a lot of attention from it. Seeing it in person for the first time, not bad. We also have a Tesla on display. We're catching some B-roll. Very aggressive. Looks like a really nice high quality kit. Really cool. All right, folks. So we have finally entered SEMA Central, Central Hall location. All of the best of the best. Really nice setup. If you guys are close up of this, this is TJ Hunt's wheelside wide body RX-7, as inspired from the movie Fast and Furious Tokyo G. He got his car fully repainted, green color with a hint of gold flake to it. Really nice classic disc wheels. Really cool seeing this car in person for the first time. Yeah, man. Sick. All type of BMWs on display. Really cool E90. A lot to take in, guys, but just trying to do our best. Capture as much as we can. For some of you Audi fans, you guys would know who Integrated Engineering is. S4. You guys already know what this is built for. Sick. We're here. This is a spider booth showcasing. It's really nice. White body Porsche. I think they do specialize in headlights and taillights. You guys can see. Very nice. 997, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's cool. A lot of you guys will know whose car this is. 720H GTR from DDE with this really sick paint seeing it for the first time in person this thing is insane we're here right now at the Gintani booth they have a couple machines on display right now it's really nice SVJ but being Gintani they specialize in one thing and that's going fast so you know their builds have to be really insane look at that I think it's about 12 to 1300 horsepower can only imagine how much this is they have this F8 on display, really sick. The man himself, right there. RB28, really amazing setup. All of the nice products right here. Alright, so out here at Turn 14 distributors, and they have this really nice Skyline R33 GTR on display with a host of goodies. Really sick. We have a lot of JDM fans on the channel as well. Quick rundown of all the mods. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a very, very limited edition R33. If you guys know exactly which one this is, then you'll know. Really clean, really nice. Alright, so obviously walking around, you know we have to capture all the unique BMW builds. This one seems like it's a time attack M4 here at the CSF booth. Really nice setup. Yeah, take a look at the seats yeah really cool and I also have this really nice Ferrari 244 
with a, it's like a, what is that? Is that a Honda engine? <laughs> Boosted Honda engine. Oh shit, this is nice. It's like a K20 or a K24. Alright, this is not something you see every day. Uh, nice. Again, a lot to take in, guys. This is the Central Hall, massive place. <laughs> Here over at the Lexus booth, we got all the new stuff on display. Really nice. This is insane. Land Cruiser 6x6. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Insane. Really like these wheels. Yeah, man. This bad. So, out here at the Toyota booth, some of the GR racing program cars. This is new 86. The whole of goodies from HKS. And over here, I want to say this is a new manual Supra in a really nice blue metallic six-speed manual. And take a look at this paint. It has like nice little hints of silver and gold in it, pearl. What do you guys think? The Toyota finally fixed the issues by having a manual Supra. Let me know in the comments. And it's an R32 GTR. What color do you want? Uh, yeah. yeah, these T is. Yeah, man, sick. And these are all the performance parts, main manufacturers, like ACT clutch, teen over there, half pads, yeah, build teen and their setup right here. Just a whole lot of things to take in. I know I probably sound like a broken record guys, but again, this place is just really out of control with the amount of things to see and feature. And obviously we're not going to feature everything, but you guys get a good idea of what to expect. At another major booth as well, KW, distributors for their coilovers, ST suspension, and it's also here, the BBS booth. Yeah, man. Amazing quality wheels. Really nice. So everybody wants to see the BBS FIRs, one of the best forged wheels, really unique design. Very similar to the HF5 Boston that I have on my M2. Really nice. Got some more well-known cars here as well. TJ Hunt's BRZ wide body kit by Street Hunter Designs. Also have his 400Z. I'm gonna check out really quickly. Uh, look at the size of this wing, yo. <laughs> Massive. Yeah, seeing this kit in person, really clean. Like, I do like the design of the white body, very seamless. You don't really see any of the rivets or anything like that. And the wheel set up with the HREs and the r triplets, really cool. Let's check out his white body 400Z right now. Dumped, sitting on the HREs. Yeah, and this one is wrapped in, you know, the text Laguna Seca blue color. What do you guys think? Yeah, looks really top notch in person. And the boys at wheel track differentials with their E30 build. Very controversial because as you guys can see that is not a BMW motor. <gasps> Decided to put a Honda, I want to say K24 or K20, you guys let me know. But very interesting. Not something you see every day. Really nice interior. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah, they put a Honda engine in there, you know. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> it's controversial. What is this? I'm talking to Dad, so this is our Praga. Race car. Um, this is sick. Horizontal suspension. That uh, inside. Very sick. This is at the Coney booth. Yeah, there you always go. Praga R1 race car. If you know, you know. So you call larger than life, guys. We're here at the Dodge booth, They're showcasing their new prototype electric car. This is the future where they're heading, all electric. Four seater coupe. Yeah, this is sick. Look at this display. These are all screens connected. Sick. Yeah, check this out. My body truck. This is Ryan Turex. Yeah, really sick build. Sick. And then over here we have Ken Block's Honey Pig. <laughs> really insane build. 
Oh my god. I use this for Park Speak. Really amazing. Just some of the things you'll see at Simo. Okay. So right now we just entered the Toyo Treadwear walkway having some of the baddest machines on display. I like that really mm. Oh my gosh. Really sick. Oh, there is Are one car in that? particular I really wanted to see. We'll be taking a closer look at it in a second. Yeah. Man, really nice interior. What do you guys think of this? Really nice. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Very good attention to detail, like everything. Yeah, really nice. This is a car I really wanted to see. You guys get through the crowd. So this is a full wide body carbon R32. And not only that, I look up close, he did midnight purple on it. Really insane. All right, the attention to detail is on another level. As you can see, Let's check out the inside as well. And the back. Yeah, man. This is probably one of my favorite builds here at the show. Uh, oh, we're about to check out the engine. Wow! Yeah, man. Amazing. RB30. Look at the size of that turbo. It's really clean. Capturing some more builds. RWB Bush really nice Sick. mess it up with the engine but not bad yeah. you guys think <laughs> huh? look at this this is insane Yeah, this is nice. <laughs> really dope. This E36 M3. Yeah, man. Proper, proper build now, guys. With a BMW motor, turbocharged, top mount, wide body. Recaro. Yeah, man. This is it. Really nice, finally set up. Very clean, roll cage. Look at this midnight purple Porsche. Wow. <laughs> this bad. Yeah, this bad. <laughs> like it's so brand new, you can smell the paint on it. <laughs> A glimpse into the great event that is SEMA. Another clean build E36. Yeah, this is sick. I really love this livery, the colors. Hey man, bud. Alright, so we're here at the Vassen booth. You know, I had to stop by and give a big shout out to my boys. You know, they have been a big supporter of most of my builds throughout my journey. Especially with the HF5 wheels that I'm rocking on the M2 right now. I'm gonna see if I can stop in and say hi to Kevin. We should be somewhere around here. And look at some of their very unique designs. Like, look how deep that is. It's crazy. And some of these over here. Yeah. You guys need some really good wheels? Check them out. Boston. Alright, so we're not going to stay too long here because of the drape music in the background, but this is the DDE SVJ, guys. First time seeing it in person here at the AL13 booth, among some other really nice builds. Just wanted to show you guys how it looks, and yeah, on to the next one. Just had to do a quick stop at Renner, check out these really clean BMW builds. So start off with this E30. They have, guys, in here, look at this. Full carbon plenum V10, most likely from a E60 M5. And over here, old school 8 series. And this one has another really nice 4.4 liter V8 engine. Really sick. 
and then this I want to say is an old school 5 series with again another V10 motor really amazing I really like that color too it really pops and then it's not only green on the outside but it's also green on the inside as well like if you guys think about fully custom like look at this everything the attention to detail on this is crazy really nice setup i want to know all of these three which one would you guys take let me know in the comments down below this is my favorite all right so you know not having seen an m2 the entire show i had to stop by and check this one out this one is filled with adro carbon bits and that's what a lot of people are sick and look at this look at this spoiler it's a really nice wing Diffuser. This kit looks really good. Yeah, it's good. This is probably the only M2 I've seen the entire show. So, shout out to you guys. So, this is a Honda Ridgeline that Unigan built. And what's really unique about this car is the engine that they decided to go with. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they used a I think this is an IndyCar Honda Race engine that revs to like 15,000 RPM. It's really sick. It completely dismantle this car and turn it into basically a original race car doesn't even look anything like how it did stock but really interesting crazy build hope you guys like it So I think that's gonna wrap up SEMA 2022. It was a whole lot to cover, really exhausted. Unfortunately, we didn't get to capture everything that we really wanted to. But the show is just too massive, but I think we did get a good essence of what the show is about. Overall, I had a really great time. What about you, Mark? Yeah, I mean, I had a great time as well. There's a lot of cool cars, guys. If you haven't been to SEMA, definitely come out. Who knows, next year, we may be back, give you guys some more content, so definitely stay tuned for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the coverage today. Stay tuned for more geared up content and until then, we're gone.